my channel and today we are going to do a simple hello world application in solidity so you guys have been requesting for me to show you how a solidity smart contract looks like and what you do as a developer if you want to develop on the ethereum blockchain using solidity uh, and if you are a say that you are a team of developers and you are serious about developing uh, smart contracts and you have done programming before then I suggest you to go to uh, Truffle Ethereum, just google Truffle Ethereum and uh, go to this uh, github page where uh, where you will uh, you will find the instructions on how to install it and use it because if you are serious about uh, the development and you really want to do a project in Solidity you should use an Ethereum development framework like Truffle. However, guys, I'm afraid that Truffle will be a bit too technical for this video, and therefore we're going to use something called Remix. And Remix is basically a website where you can write your Solidity code here, and you can directly execute and publish the code. And this is perfect for learning, education, and demonstration purposes. So, therefore, in this video, we're going to use Remix. However, if you are, if you have a project and the, if you have a team of developers, you should use Truffle as your development framework. Uh, but as I mentioned, just to show you how Solidity works and how you write smart contracts, we will be using Remix. So, let's get into it, guys. Uh, whenever we write a smart contract, we need to specify which version we are using, which version of Solidity we're using. And so the first line needs to be the version. Uh, and whenever you st whenever you open this website, you will get a like a demonstrational contract. And so we're just going to steal this first line from from it and paste it in our own contract. So this contract that we're going to develop is going to store and manipulate a number so we can save some kind of numeric value and then we can fetch it and then maybe we can increment and decrement it uh, so on the first line we have specified the number uh, the version number of solidity we're using next we can create the contract and we need to give this contract a name let's call it store number like this and so everything inside these curly braces will be our contract. So now that we have our contract created, we need to give it a constructor function. What is a constructor function? Basically, this is the function that will be called whenever this contract is deployed and initiated the first time. And What's, what's special about the constructor function is that it needs to have the same, the same name as the contract, like this. So this is a constructor function and it does nothing at all, guys, because it is empty in here. And so this contract should store a number. Let's uh, create a variable. So basically, here I have created a variable called the number uh, and it has the type unsigned integer so you in unsigned integer and basically it means that this number is a positive integer so we could have called this whatever we could have called this ABC or uh, hello but basically we create a variable of type unsigned integer and we give it a name that we can use in order to refer to it later in the code let's just call this number and whenever the contract gets initiated for the first time, this function, this constructor function, will be called. So whenever we launch the contract, let's set the value of the variable called number to 100. So now we can publish this contract by pressing here on, on the right side, publish. And you get a success message and whenever we have published the contract we need to initiate it by pressing create and whenever we press create 
this function will be called this constructor function namely the function that has the same name as the contract will be called so we press it and um, now we have initiated this function however we have uh, we don't have any other functions so this uh, contract has no functionality yet however let's create a function to fetch uh, fetch the number like this uh, we, have, we have a train uh, coming by so uh, now we have created a function to fetch the number and this function will return uh, a unsigned integer basically that means that we in this function we will return the value stored in this variable number and that is an uh, unsigned integer and therefore when we create the function fetch the number we need to tell solidity that it will return a an unsigned integer and we then we return it like this so let's publish our contract once again and let's create it and now as you can see we have this button called fetch the number and this is it's called fetch the number because this is the function name that we just created here and whenever we press it it will return the value stored in the variable number and because we stored a hundred in the num in the variable number we get a hundred as the result here as you can see I hope you can see let's just make it bigger like this uh, right so we have a const constructor function that basically sets the default values the values we want the contract to have from the beginning and so we set the number to 100 uh, let's create let's create the function that will be called whenever we want to set uh, the number to something else so let's create set the, set the number function and now it will take a an input a parameter as input and let's call it the, the new value and now we set number equals the new uh, value like this uh, and if we publish this and if we create the contract once again as you can see we have a new function here set the number and we can write anything here any number so for example if I write 300 300 will be inserted as the new value and number will be set to the new value so if I run this and fetch the number once again we will get 300 if I set this to a thousand and run set the number and then fetch the number we get a thousand so as you can see yes we have created a function for setting the value inside number uh, and also we have a function to fetch the value inside inside of number of the number variable let's create yet another function that will just increment the value and it will just set number equals to number plus one like this just increment so if we publish this and create, we get a hundred. If I press this new function we have here, increment the number, and it it is this function. Say I run it one time, we have a hundred and one. Run it twice, we have a hundred and two. Let's create an yet another function by just copying this one and de and call it decrement and this will do minus one instead of plus one so now we have a hundred we decrement the number we have 99 and then we increment the number and we have a hundred again so that's it guys if you are familiar with programming I think you found this very easy and uh, this is very uh, very similar similar to JavaScript for example or Java this is an imperative language and uh, 
the concepts like a constructor function should be very familiar to you if you have been programming before and if you're new to programming uh, I hope you learned how what we <laughs> what we uh, as programmers do basically we write this this code to manipulate different variables and um, then we can publish these contracts on the Ethereum blockchain and right now this this contract is not published on the Ethereum blockchain instead it was executed uh, in a simulated blockchain inside of this website so uh, however it could be of course it could be uh, executed on the real blockchain but then you would need gas and create real accounts and therefore if you just want to learn and experiment with solidity i think remix is a very very good tool for you because you don't need to you don't need to invest in gas or uh, or uh, like getting the problems uh, and uh, struggling with deploying it on the real blockchain instead you have this very simple uh, interface here to code and see how your code runs so that's it guys leave in the comment section below if you thought that this was, this was too difficult maybe it was too technical and uh, Lee also write if you thought that this was interesting and that you actually learned how, how coding works. Ask any questions you have. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, Ethereum, Bitcoin, you should definitely subscribe to this channel, guys. Because I myself am a software developer and I post videos about the blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies.